Hey everyone, it's Project SPC and I'm back today to show off a new version of my Power Control app. Now this is still a work in progress. Don't expect to see this on the GitHub page yet. I just wanted to show you off the new user interface and some of the new features that we are going to see. So first off, you're gonna notice I got rid of all the tabs on the top. That is now turned into a slider bar on the left hand side. Um, you're also gonna notice some new options down here. So for Intel, I've added Power Balance back. You also got EPP, AMD got GPU clock speed, and both of them got max unparked cores, which I'll go over in just a moment. Another cool feature, the ability to turn off any of these values that you don't want. So supposing you don't want EPP and you don't want to worry about it ever, and the settings, there's a way to turn that off so you won't ever see it on status page, change value page, profile page, unless you turn it back on in the settings. That makes it so you can customize it to the way that you want and the values that you only want. Um, let's go over the unparked um, cores real quick. So in the power config option, there is a way to park cores, which means they don't get any share of the CPU load. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So it says there is three unparked cores. So three out of the four physical cores and six out of the eight logical cores should be in use and we're going to notice that the last two down here are now parked it means they don't get any share of the cpu load doesn't really make much of a difference on tiger lake since it's only a four core processor but when you get more than four cores like the amd 4800u having those extra cores doesn't necessarily help gaming performance it actually diverts power away from the integrated graphics so if you disable some cores that allows the graphics, integrated graphics, to get more power, which may give you a little bit more performance um, on less CPU intensive stuff. So that's an option that both Intel and AMD have, and you can now take advantage of it. Let's go over profiles. So one of the things I didn't like about the last one was each profile had a one application that you could set. I've changed that now. You can actually set one profile to many applications. So you don't have to make many profiles like you did in my last app. Just a convenience, but I think it's really important because I do know some people that had over 30 items in their profile list for all the different games that they play. You can now commonize it to just one profile and just add all the applications. So that's another nice feature. So I'm still working on this. Um, expect to see some updates in the next few weeks. I should be able to release this in about a month. Um, so stay tuned for updates. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos on this in the future. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And thanks for watching.